everybody, I'm Dan Debenham. Make sure and join me this week for Dining with the Dean from the University of Arkansas. You know, Dining with the Dean was created and wrapped around college football. This is just blocking. Once we get here, there's really no time for questions. It's Dining with the Dean was pushed forward in production to make sure that we could uh, match up with the college football season because Dining with the Dean airs nationally on BYU TV. BYU is a independent college football team this year. And we went looking for the best football teams and the best campuses in America. Clearly, that's why we're here. Lots of times when we go into various locations, our photographers are guys that we bring with us from our, our main office in Salt Lake, but our audio people are our local people. So uh, we had to spend a few minutes kind of getting the local audio people up to speed on the craziness of how we do things on, uh, on Dining with the Dean. Dining with the Dean is a reality show that's a cooking competition. Uh, double check, make sure you get your iPad. It's all set up. It's on there. Okay. It takes place on different campuses or universities across the country. Two teams are given three hours and 30 bucks to prepare a three course meal worth $3,000 and one of the deans of the campus judges them based on taste and presentation. We're on candid camera. Uh, it's a camera mount for uh, an overhead shot of the food. We are so stoked that we were able to come to the University of Arkansas. The Razorbacks rule, that's what we heard. And sure enough, the two teams that are representing you guys are awesome. We have UATV, your student television station, taking on the Traveler, the student newspaper. Uh, <laughs> I know. We need some, maybe some vegetables to go in there. I would do some noodles. You know, I think this is a great show for not only the university and its exposure, it's actually seen in 65 million homes, but it's really good for the actual teams, the kids. First of all, they realize that they're competing for something other than themselves. $2,000 goes to the charity of their choice. $1,000 stays with their club. They individually don't get anything. Into the sauce, like a squeeze of lemon or something. Okay. So it'll be Aaron's car. She get the keys. He's gonna. It's gonna take a few minutes to put that in there. So I'm gonna a couple interviews with you guys. And then the dessert. Sweet dessert, sticky rice, the guavi syrup, and mango. What's your name? Oh, uh, Life is Sweet on the Hill. I think it's a really fun idea. You know, we don't get a lot of opportunities to kind of do this stuff that is associated past our university. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, you know, a little fun, healthy competition is always good. Yeah. And, you know, it's something that we all love to do. We all mm -hmm. love to cook, so. And it's nice to kind of get out of the everyday cooking rut because, like, you wake up in the morning, you eat cereal, and you're a college student, you're on a budget, you're on a time crunch. So it's nice to actually have the chance to really be creative with our food and be creative with our budget. Without a doubt, the most difficult thing is to find engaging students. Are they making this sound good? Do you know what they're making? Traveler pad thai and sweetness on the hill. But ours is going to be better because, yeah. You no, know, all like Thai dishes that were basically altering like college budget food to make it <laughs> more food. exotic. Yeah, I mean Joe's pretty pumped about his pumpkin pie. He's he is actually a really good cook. Yeah, and he, he's pretty pumped about it and you know we have faith in Joe because we put our faith in Joe every day. Every day, 24-7 <laughs> at the station. Okay, we got our list, we're ready to go, we got our money, get to the store. Literally. We have never had better teams than the two that are representing you guys today. And I mean that seriously. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am like a that. little worried because last week I went in and I tried their hummus. <laughs> they were having a hummus competition. They have their, yeah. yeah. And for the weekender edition, they do that. And they have really good hummus. Yeah, we're using ramen and... Crunchy know, peanut butter. <laughs> rice. Like. <laughs> One of the other things that's really fun about this show is it's a real combination of kind of ENG, on-the-go news style, and feature episodic, more your traditional production style. So where, you know, we're interested in narrative, it's about story. We have to move fast, we have to move quick, we still have to keep the production quality high, and sometimes we have to go a little bit gorilla. As you can see here, got to get the shot in the kitchen, don't have the space, we have to improvise, make it work. The crew, they're fun. They're, they're so really mean. fun. And they they hit me earlier. And then I have a bruise and I just And then they put their leg out in front of us. Yeah, and they trip me and then No, they're, yeah, they're really great. Yeah, they really they're are. Awesome. They're awesome. Uh, 
right there I was just getting a, a message from one of my producers over at the other house and we were constantly in communication back and forth making sure that everything's running smoothly and uh, we have our host is getting ready to pop into one of the houses and uh, just coordinating that and producers ready for him and he was saying we're good to go they don't know I'm coming okay. what are they cooking they're cooking uh, baked zucchini and squash for the appetizer? For the appetizer. Big <laughs> yeah, zucchini yeah. and squash. Hi. Hi. You're the host. I am. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey. Hi. How's everybody doing? The three of you went shopping. Yes. And you had $30. Yeah. I heard you didn't do well with that. No. Getting the deans on board was difficult, but once the show started rolling out and we began finishing the show and were able to take finished episodes and forward that on to other deans and other universities, they just started rolling in. So you walk down this aisle, okay? And the two teams will be represented. The kids are motivated to do something great for the university and for their club, but for their charity. And that's what I really like about Dying with the Dean. You see these teams come together in a real focused effort. We haven't eaten all day. I just want to put that out there. We have not eaten all day. They have the pride of their club, the pride of their school, and they want to beat the other competition. These kids find a great way to give back by cooking. Tell me where that's going to happen.